Hi, my name is Bo Crib. When I've been making money selling brand name products online for nearly a decade now. Yep, that's right. I started at the ripe age of 10 years old. Now, how can it be possible for a 10 year old to be successful selling products online? And the reason is that is I sell products that people are already shopping for. And I buy those products from the same suppliers used by Target, Costco, Walmart, and alike. And I display the products on Amazon, keep up the markup, which is usually between 10 and 100%. Now, if a 10 year old can do this, do you think you have what it takes to generate a full part-time income selling on Amazon? Of course you do. And actually over the past year, I've been coaching people just like you, my proven methods of making money as an Amazon seller. My students come from all walks of life and ages. Most do it part-time. However, some have found it lucrative enough to have this as their primary source of income. And let's face it, in today's economy, everyone could use extra little cash flow, right? And what I'll be doing in this video, besides explaining to you how simple it is to sell on Amazon, is I'm gonna be going over one small flaw and like principle of way of thinking that people have when they're trying to get into this business. Okay, and what it is, is if you're trying to go find specific products to sell on Amazon, you're doing it wrong. Okay, if because a lot of people, right, if you private label product, you're supposed to look for a specific product. In the retail space, where most of the sales happen in Amazon, all you care about is buying low and selling higher. Okay, do you really care if you're selling Hasbro toys, or do you care if you're selling a Sony PlayStation 4 or a Canon EOS DSR camera? Do you care what it is at the end of the day? No, you care about buying it low and selling higher, right? I have mentors that are in the financial industry, and they're in this, they trade stocks. And their biggest thing is they wanna go find a stock they can buy for 60 and sell for 70. And that's all they care about. They don't really care what stock it is. They're not gonna get emotionally attached to it. So what I'm getting at this point, I'm gonna make three points throughout this video, is one is people are trying to go find a specific product and look for a supplier for that. So they'll go on Amazon. They'll look for products that are selling on Amazon already. All right, so that's smart. You're looking for products that already sell. But if someone is already selling that product on Amazon, that means someone's already supplying that seller, okay? And if you can go find that supplier, which you're probably not gonna be able to go find that supplier by looking at a product on Amazon, if you can go find that supplier, a bunch of other people are. So if you go on that listing, you're gonna cut that other person's competition or their sales in half. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you can find a supplier by going on Amazon and reverse searching, other people are gonna do that, okay? Because what I'm trying to get at here is when I buy products, I don't look for specific products. I work with suppliers first. I always talk about people first, products second. And a lot of the products I sell, I'm literally the only seller on the listing, okay? And that's probably gonna shock somebody because whenever like, I hear people about to private label or arbitrage or drop shipping, and they just say, well, I mean, if you're selling brand name products, there's so many competition. There's like, you're gonna be sharing the buy box with so many people. I'm telling you the best products I sell, there's literally no other seller. And the reason why is because I went people first, products second, I found suppliers first, and the products came. For example, I just posted a testimonial video from a student, Alex. You can feel free to watch the video I just posted a few days ago. And when he first got into the course, he didn't look for specific products to sell. He didn't care. He just wanted to go buy low and sell higher. And he found one product. I'm not going to say the brand name, but... If I said the brand name, you, you have no idea what it is. Um, I've asked a bunch of people like, hey, have you heard of this before? It's just a bunch, of, it's a random brand and you've never heard of it before, okay? However, he ended up working with the same supplier and that supplier had Sony products. It wasn't a Sony supplier. He didn't go into Google and search Sony supplier and found Sony products. He found a supplier through the methods that I teach and he found that supplier that had some random brands, he sold that product pretty well, and then that same supplier ended up having Sony products, okay? Because what you gotta get at is, suppliers are in places where they want to be found, okay? If people can find suppliers by looking at a specific product on Amazon and finding that supplier for it, that's not gonna work, okay? So that's the first problem, is that if you can find a product that's on Amazon, find the supplier for it, everyone probably can go find that. And again, in this business, my best products are products that don't have that much competition at all. And, and the second problem is that's just not how the business of online retail works. For example, let's take the company GameStop, right? GameStop is a video game store, okay? GameStop is not a manufacturer. They're a retailer, they buy from distributors. I buy from the same exact suppliers as GameStop. 
I know for a fact that GameStop is not gonna be selling the same exact products they are today than they are three months from now. Their inventory is gonna be totally different, all right? They don't know what manufacturers are gonna make, they don't know what products are gonna be coming out, but they know they're gonna be selling products that people are shopping for, okay? Now, they might be selling some controllers and gift cards and like cases for your Xbox, the things that just sell all the time that people are always shopping for. However, go to GameStop today, look at their inventory, take a picture of it all, come back three months later, totally different inventory, okay? And that's just how the retail space works, is you're not looking for specific products, right? Or even talk about Bill Walton, who owned Walmart and one of the richest families to ever live. What he did when he basically built up Sam's Club and Walmart is he wasn't looking for specific products, he was saying, how can I get products that people shopping for cheaper and sell more more units of it that's all what he's looking for okay so just to recap that second point is that just is not simply how this business model works is that you're not looking for specific products huge retailers right they must be doing something right if they've been doing this for years so i like to copy their system and that leads to the last point and this last point is maybe something you're not going to want to hear is if you've had the idea of selling nike selling hasbro selling Mattel, selling Sony, I'm gonna be very brutally honest with you, is you're not a genius, okay? So many people have thought of that idea before. I get so many people messaging me all the time saying, hey Bo, do you think it's a smart idea for me to go sell Starbucks? Hey Bo, do you think it's a smart idea to go buy a Nike products and sell them? Or hey Bo, do you think it's smart to go sell Canon products? Yes, it's a smart idea, but every single person, not every single person, but so many people have thought about that before. It's not about thinking of great ideas to sell products, because this business is easy. Okay, this business is very simple, is you want to be finding those suppliers that carry those types of products, okay? Because so many people can think of that idea, but most people, pretty much no people, understand how to go find products where they can go buy low and sell higher. Okay, for example, I could go tell you to go to entertainmentearth.com right now, and you could go find all the best selling Hasbro products. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're not gonna find one product where you can go buy low and sell higher. Verse, I've gone to many trade shows, and a trade show I went to, I found one supplier where they were showing they had some Star Wars, some Nerf products, some Hasbro products, and I walked up to them and I wanted to see what products I in their catalog. Okay, I didn't ask them, hey, can you go source the specific product that sells well on Amazon? I looked at their catalog, I looked to see where I could go buy low and sell higher, looked to see what the competition was, and made some nice orders with them. I made an order of some lightsabers, and if you've seen any of my webinars, I talk about this lightsaber, and I'll actually be hosting another webinar, you can feel free to join it, but with that supplier, I'd simply look to see what procs they have in their catalog, see where I can go buy low and sell higher, and I built a relationship with that supplier, okay? And now today my business relies, not off that supplier, but I literally can have my entire business relying off that one supplier sending me text messages because they said, hey Bo, we just got this in stock, um, do you want these? And the thing is, is that I had no idea months ago that they were gonna have that specific product, but now they have it, it sells well, I can buy low and sell higher. Okay, so just to recap this video, main point I'm getting at is you should not be looking at specific products, you should be wanting to go find suppliers. So it's always people first, suppliers first, products second, because so many people have thought of the idea, oh, I should go sell Starbucks, or oh, I should go sell Hasbro. You're not a genius for thinking of that, okay? And also, if you're looking for products that are directly on Amazon, that are already selling, just think right now is that if you can find a supplier for that by looking directly on Amazon, somebody's already gonna do that. So it's all about the way you think a little bit, and just make sure, again, it's all about people first, products second. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you wanna stay up to date with all of my new content and be the first one to see all of the cool stuff I'm releasing, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then when you hit subscribe, you wanna make sure you hit the little bell so you can get notified for my videos. And then also feel free to attend the free webinar that I will be hosting on exactly how you can be selling brand name products on Amazon. The webinar is 100% free to attend. I it most likely will be in the first link in the description. You can attend that webinar and you're gonna learn exactly how to sell brand name products on Amazon, okay? Then what you can also do is you can join the free public Facebook group I have as well. You can search it, it will be in the, probably towards the end of my description, there will be a link to that. And you can also follow me on Twitter, at Bo Crable. Follow me on Instagram, at Bo Crable as well. And then also you can follow my Facebook fan page, which is official, at official Bo Crable. You can just hit follow, and you can see all the content, be up to date with everything you can see coming from me, okay?